Hey soldiers, if anybody tries to convince you that the dollar's status as world reserve currency is in no danger of going away, if anyone tries to make you believe that de-dollarization is not a real thing, run away from that person as fast as you can. We've been offering proof here on the channel that the United States is currently in the process of losing its currency status as world reserve currency. And the hits just keep on coming. Guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We talk about these global economic issues and show you how you can profit from them. That's exactly what we're going to do here today. Now, look, we got quite a few countries of late, okay, that we have not talked about that are doing things contrary to the interest of the U.S. dollar. All right, first up, big boys, China and Saudi Arabia, they have just signed a $7 billion local currency trading deal. And you might say, hey guys, I thought, Tyrone, I thought Saudi Arabia was an ally. Well, how much of an ally do you think they're going to continue to be when all we can talk about is climate change and how we're moving away from fossil fuels? What is Saudi Arabia's bread and butter? It's oil, petroleum, right? Products. So China, which is growing its country, they are, you know, coming into more and more prominence with each day, militarily, socially, industrially, they need that oil. And so if you've got, on the one hand, one country saying, hey, look, we need that oil because we want to grow. And then another country saying, oh, we're going to power our entire society off windmills and, uh, you know, love and gamma ray beams that come out of the horns of unicorns. Uh, what's Saudi Arabia to do, right? But they're not the only ones. Singapore and Indonesia, another uh, duo that has said, look, let's trade between one another in our local currencies. We don't need to use the dollar to do that. The UAE, United Arab Emirates, and Iraq, they're doing the same thing in non oil related trade. So bit by bit, we see the erosion of the influence of the US dollar. And then here lately, we have India, <clears throat> excuse me, India and Egypt ditching the dollar for trade. In the latest adherence to the BRICS de-dollarization effort, that's very important. This is a policy of those BRICS nations. They mean to back away from the dollar. A lot of so-called uh, experts, and look, I'm not going to castigate people for not believing this, although the signs are there, because things tend to, things like this, this is a sea change, right? Things like this tend to sneak up on people and take them out of their comfort zone. If you have built your paradigm around the dollar being dominant, and now you have to face the eventuality that that's coming to an end. And I'm not saying that tomorrow we're going to wake up and nobody's going to be using dollars. No, what I am saying is in the next five years, we will see the development of a multipolar economic system centered around the dollar and other currencies in the world. We're going to see the rise of crypto uh, as a unit of exchange. Look, El Salvador has gone whole hog on that train, okay? It's having mixed results, but hey, they've committed, right? So we've got that, and we're seeing the rise of central bank digital currencies. So India and Egypt have held discussions and attempts to ditch the U.S. dollar within their trade, uh, trade relations. Indeed, Egypt was one of six nations invited to join the bloc, BRICS, uh, at its 2023 annual summit. Now its trade with the original BRICS member, India, is set to be settled in local currencies. All right, guys, India has been one of the most ardent supporters of the bloc's efforts to lessen international reliance on the dollar. The nation had also requested that the U.S. dollar be abandoned in trade relations with Ethiopia. Subsequently, it settled a landmark oil deal with the UAE in local currencies. Now, why is this important? Because heretofore, since the 1970s, when um, Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, went over to Saudi Arabia, made the 
protection for uh, world reserve currency deal. Basically, he said, listen, Saudi Arabia, we're going to protect you militarily. You guys only need concern yourself with buying private jets and gold toilets. We will protect you militarily as long as you denominate all oil sales in dollars. They said, okay, overnight, made the, do uh, the dollar the most prominent currency in the world because you needed it if you wanted to keep the lights on and the trains running in your country. Now, we see a splintering, and it's because of U.S. policy. How do we profit from this? Well, guys, uh, one of the ways that we can profit from this is to understand those things that are going to have long-lasting value and to consider putting money into those things. And what things are those? Well, I'm a big fan of real estate, okay? People are going to continue to need to have real estate to live and to do business. Now, retail, brick and mortar retail is coming under fire because these companies apparently don't know how to do what's right in order to stop this. And the politicians, they're not interested in stopping crime. They want more crime. Uh, because crime equals division. And there's one thing a politician loves is division. They thrive on it. It's like blood to a vampire. But uh, what we see with real estate is a lot of server farms. Restaurants are still going to need to be out there from a commercial standpoint. Um, even if it's a restaurant that just cooks food okay, and delivers it to people, then no one comes in and sits down. You're still going to need a facility to do that. Not to mention the fact that we as humans love to live inside structures, okay, away from the elements. Uh, so real estate is has traditionally, mind you, there are a lot of variables that come into play because it depends on location, 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 utility, age, whole lot of variables. Got to do your due diligence. I like keeping money in real estate in some form or fashion, whether it be directly, whether it be in terms of a REIT or real estate investment trust. Uh, quality companies. Remember, guys, the S&P 500. This is an index of mostly global companies, meaning they do business throughout the world, not just here in America, although the, many of them are based here. Do your due diligence, find quality companies. We talked about Amazon on this video and why Amazon will probably continue to thrive. Watch the video, do your due diligence. We'll have more for you in terms of what's going on with the dollar losing prominence, but it certainly is, guys. I will talk to you soon.